Hello, so I just came from a morning run with athletes at St. Patrick's High School in Itan, Kenya and just want to share what was going through my mind because um, it's been only six days here and it's really tough to adjust the altitude and also trying to keep up with the really fast cannon runners, these, um, they are from 19 to 22 or 24 years old, the runners I'm running with and they're definitely future Olympians. They are preparing for World Championships in Doha in September and I'm just trying to just keep up with them in their Easy run, I keep up with them, but it just a little more than easy, like moderate speed or medium. It's really hard to keep up. I am just not fit enough to keep up with them yet, and it's been only six days, so I haven't really adjusted the altitude either. Um, but I am keeping at it. My goal here is to. I have several goals, but one of them is to not quitting, not giving up and doing running every day with the athletes here at St. Patrick's High School. Um, and even though I'm not running at their speed, there are just a lot of things I'm learning from them when I'm on easy runs with them in the morning and in the evening doing exercises so we'll see my goal is to not quit and today I had a lot of thoughts during the run because I lost them because they just flew well I could stay with them it was a moderate speed run but I don't know if it's the food my, f my stomach started having trouble and I couldn't keep up with the pace and I lost them, and I, so I just had to walk and run, walk and run, and I also got lost. I didn't know which way to go, and I was out there for like hour and twenty minutes, I think. And there were just there were many moments where I was like, "Fuck, this really sucks. I have no energy. My core is collapsed. It's just breaking down. Um, what am I doing here? Sun's so bright. Uh, it's really tough." And when those negative things creeping up into my mind, I started like self-talk. You know, those are the moments where you do your self-talk and try to kind of have a different perspective on, on the situation there. So I started looking around, realized I'm in Iten, Kenya, where I want to be for the last three years and I am healthy, I have four limbs, I could, I wasn't dying out there uh, and I was still, I was trying, I could still come back and do it, give it a shot tomorrow, day after day, day after tomorrow and day after that. So when the negative thoughts came into my mind, my posture was also breaking, my chest was getting you know, closed up, my shoulder was going up, and my core was just breaking down even more. So, although I was walking, I started opening up my chest, 
uh, had my back straight and I walked like that and it helped me to have better positive encouraging thoughts although I wasn't running and that really helped my mental uh, mojo to try running again and then walked again and it was helpful me very helpful for me to keep a winning mind although I wasn't uh, I guess although I wasn't like doing well at the moment I felt like I felt really good because I had I succeeded at keeping change my mind back into a positive place putting it in the positive place and just um, realizing kind of using that negative thoughts as an opportunity to uh, encourage myself and realize why I'm here so I just want to share that with you guys um, it's really really awesome to be here in all honesty so uh, yeah it was just really good opportunity for me to practice gratitude and breathing focusing on my breathing through my nose and um, it was just great I'm happy that I got lost I am happy that it was tough I'm happy that I didn't lose gratitude when it was tough out there thank you um, thank you for watching and just let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment I'll keep posting these short vlogs um, just simple and short vlogs as much as many as much as possible just to keep you updated um, so today the camp starts so really excited and yeah just really excited to keep it going I got 80 days left and really excited to my goal is to not lose the positive mind the gratitude and also keep making content that will uh, bring more interest and bring more people to Kenya Iten and also encourage more people to start running because running is really one of the best things in the world so thank you for watching and I hope you stay grateful and breathing intentionally and maybe go for a run today maybe 15 minute run I am gonna now it's 12 12 12 12 in the afternoon I'm gonna take a, a nice lunch potato and beans Kenyan food vitel kideli with potato I'm gonna take a nap and at 4 p.m. we have two kilometer easy run and then exercise with Ian some core flexibility mobility exercise so. Let's keep it going. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.